<laughs> Rome in the 60s and 70s was really like they used to call it a little Hollywood on Tiber. In old times, Rome was full of work. There were a lot of music played everywhere, TV shows, radio shows. So all the best players were in the orchestras who were performing the music of those great composers. Percussions? Yes. The music uh, uh, that I transcribed was produced by old records full of sounds of uh, woe and flutter and a lot of reverb. So it was very difficult to understand the sounds that were under, under, under the score, under the, under the big woe and fluff that was on the music. Rome is the perfect environment to do such a show, such a complicated show, dedicated to music and movies. This orchestra is special because in this orchestra I can uh, realize uh, uh, an ideal approach that young musician and old musician sharing experience. Dino Piana, uh, the famous trombone player, 76 years old, and Silvano Chimenti, uh, 65 years old, uh, are sharing their experiences with uh, Enrico Zanisi, that is 20 years old, an incredible pianist. Fabrizio Bosso plays along with uh, Massimo Morriconi, that is older and has a lot of things to give to the orchestra. Every single soloist in his orchestra uh, is giving to the others. E calma la mia bocca sulla tua, come la bocca di una coppa. E nei baci che do tutto è fuoco. So it was a song that was uh, recorded by Mina, biggest Italian singer. Very difficult song, I had to study for once. Having Petra Magoni that covered the rule of, of Mina, or having Giuliano Palma singing uh, uh, the music of Django, uh, enriches the whole. Django, I am a tu solo lei. Django, Django, ma dimentica se poi che si vive, che si ama. Uh, working with uh, Nunzi was a pleasure because uh, he's a nice guy uh, and uh, for me a genius. Yeah, I would love to be in a horror movie. <laughs> I think that the scene from a movie that really defines the marriage between images and music is probably mm, in Once Upon a Time in the West, the Sergio Leone movie with the Ennio Morricone score. Each time the Charles Bronson character pops out, those three harmonica notes. One of the first things we established when we started this job were obviously the style and for many different reasons we decided to do something very abstract that could you know, recall the kind of film we were working on. But then while we started working we just said, you know, we just found out, no man, you have to, <laughs> if you're doing a cowboy film and you're doing the titles for a cowboy film, there's no way you can detach from that world, you have to put in some cowboys or some horses or, you know, a sheriff's style. 